hey hi friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to show you how to create the calculated field and use the parameters to control calculations within the calculated field okay so we have the sample superstore data set over here and in this data set we have the profit sales and in the dimension we have the product product category and states and all okay so let's say i want to create a parameter to get control of category okay let me show that let's say i have a category over here in the rows we have furniture office supplies and technology okay and we have the sales amount over here for all categories all right now i want to create a parameter to select category i can use the filter also but i want to create a calculated field later on so that is the reason behind i am creating the parameter so i will right click on the category and i have a create option in the create option i have different options like create calculated field group set and parameter so i will click on the parameter button and here i have the name category parameter so i will not change this name so by default in the list value i got all the category name values and display as the same string all right so i will hit on ok and at the bottom if you see in the parameter category parameter button is created or peel is there okay so i will right click and hit on the show parameter control so here i have the parameter control so but if i select any specific category within the parameter it will not reflect into the actual workbook so in order to fix it i will have to create the calculated field and use this parameter in that calculated field so i will again right click on category and i will create a calculated field over here like this so in the calculated field i will rename it as select category dot c dot c refers to this calculated calculated field and i will simply compare category is equal to category parameter all right so the be reason behind this logic this statement will simply check if category is matching with the category parameter if it is matching it will be true if it is not matching it will be false all right now i will click on apply and hit on ok now this is a true false filter and i will use this true false filter into the filters tab over here and leave it now i have three options null false true what oh filter i want to use like okay so i will hit on the true and hit on okay like this all right so here if you see in the technology is automatically got selected now if i change similar change into the workbook over here if i select office supplies it will change it to office supplies over here 
so this is how we create a true false filter and the parameter and use that parameter to create a calculated field okay now let's say uh, we want to do some additional calculations within this calculated field then how we can do it like let's say i want to see total percent of sales for a specific category like how much is the total percent for the specific category then how i can achieve that result right to achieve that result what i will do i will create a uh, calculated field and in also calculated field i will try to first draw a sales figure over here now i can see the sales figure and in the sales figure what i can do i can do a table calculation or quick table calculation in the table calculation you have the percent of total option over here so if i click on percent of total it will give me 100 percent okay the reason behind this 100 percent is because in the work plane i have only office supplies so sales will be calculated based on only office supply sales not all other sales correct so in that case i will have to use total cell for entire category pill all right so let's do it let me remove this uh, filter from the filter work plane and once i removed you can see i uh, we are able to see uh, total percent for each category like 32 31 and 36 percent with respect to overall sales category right so it looks very easy simple and uh, very very creative okay now i will create a calculated field and i will try to calculate the total sales for selected category into the parameter okay so i will right click on the category i will create a calculated field i will say total percent okay now i will apply condition if category is equal to category parameter then sum of windows sum i will use windows sum of sales divided by sum of divide by i will use the fixed lod expression over here fixed uh, fixed sum of cells i will use the category as a column cells and will close this curly bracket over here and i will use some over here let's let's see what is the error we are getting int we need int int and okay let me see we simply have to divide the 
परसेंट सेल डिवाइड बाय द सेल दैट कैटेगरी हैव सो लेट मी अप्लाई द ट्रू फॉल्स फिल्टर ओवर एयर एंड ट्राई टू वैलिडेट माय कैलकुलेशन अप्लाई ऑन ट्रू हिट ऑन ओके सो व्हाट आर फील्ड आई एम सेलेक्टिंग इफ यू इफ यू आर एबल टू सी योर द ऑफिस सप्लाई सेल्स लेट मी ड्रैग इट ओवर हियर the office supply cells if you see i have the office supply cells and total cells over here <coughs> all right now i will have to only divide these two cells with each other okay so before that let me show you formula behind total percent so we will go slow and steady no we don't have any rush right formula for total percent Not let's say in excel divide value by the total value and then multiply it by 100 okay so we have value total value now we will create one more calculated field create calculated field total percent total percent dot c now divide value okay so if category equal to category parameter then we have to return sum of cells else zero into looks perfect let me see what is the problem now cannot mix non aggregate okay so we can simply use case statement here the expected results so let me multiply it by 100 and we are done over here so multiply by 100 and apply over here so if you want to cross validate this we can simply go in quick table calculation and hit on a percent total definitely this will show the entire thing like this and if i remove the filter from calculator calculator filter then it will show exact results like this so for office supply the 31% furniture it is 32% and technology it is 36% and in our calculated field as per our calculated field we are getting the similar kind of result but now our result is controlled by parameter okay so let me drag the true false filter back to the filters and here we go so if we simply remove this table calculation then yeah we got this we don't need this anymore like and yeah i think the things are pretty much clear if you are able to see like this or like this anyway like any anything will work properly like this or it's up to you how do you want to arrange it okay so now we are able to see the total percentage like this so whatever parameter we select we will get sales and the total percent of that particular 
category so this is how we create a calculated field and the parameters it will come up with a little bit of practice and lots of efforts research and all that thing so hope you found this video useful hit the thumbs up button share your thoughts in the comment section and if you are facing any problem to develop any calculated field in tab to do let me know i will try to help you out okay till then we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye